Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Romanov of iSign Media. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. Thank you for asking. Alex, you've had numerous uh, news releases recently, and of course you did sign an agency sales agreement with the Mobile Experience Company. Can you tell us more about this deal? Yes. Uh, we go back quite a few years with uh, Mobile Exco. Uh, they come from a company called Skipton, which was a distributor for IBM. They were an IBM partner, we were an IBM partner. We cohabitated together, we worked together on kiosks and other uh, solutions for IBM. And uh, four years later, they completed their particular solution and uh, we got together to uh, represent them as an agency. And of course, you also just signed a deal with uh, Mackey Research Capital Corporation for a convertible debenture. Can you tell us a little bit more about that deal? Yes, it's a good time for us to uh, raise some money. We've decided to avoid some dilution and uh, go for a convertible debenture, three and a half million dollars at 20 cents. Uh, to stay in line with this particular effort, we've uh, acquired two technologies that we'd like to talk about and start launching. And this should make us uh, quite a front runner in the mobile space. Well, speaking of being a front runner in the mobile space, not everybody out there may understand or know about iSign Media, and uh, you have an exciting technology. Can you give us kind of a 10-story overview of iSign Media? Absolutely. First of all, we're patented. We're one of the very, very few mobile technologies that is patented. We filed the patent in 2007 and received it in 2014, so you know how crowded this space really is. So we have a patent for our solution, which is simply a, uh, an ability to recognize mobile devices within proximity and be able to message them and capture their response. And this does not require downloads or apps. So we're the only solution that requires no apps or downloads to do what we do. And for the Investor Intel audience that may be trying to understand what this actually is, here are the numbers I remember. You have like a 20% success rate for advertising versus many other, the, many other mediums that are currently out there? Absolutely. Uh, 20 is really the old number now. It's getting better because people are a little more uh, used to receiving messages on their mobile devices. So we've recently cracked the 30, 33, 35% mark. Well, I think this is a great opportunity to uh, remind those who are fo following iSign Media about the deal you made with the rich multimedia uh, technologies with the kiosks. Can you give us a bit of an overview on that particular deal? Yes, that's uh, continuing. Uh, we've licensed uh, rich media technologies to uh, produce 5,000 of their kiosks, which includes our smart antenna. Uh, these are being placed uh, firstly in... Uh, government buildings, airports, and transportation in uh, Mexico, Mexico City. And the idea there is to roll out what they now call and refer to as smart cities. So we have the same effort happening in three airports in uh, the United States, which is uh, uh, Denver Airport, John Wayne Airport, and Palm Springs Airport. And most recently, it's now expanded to the Houston Airport. Well, I'll tell you, I'm very impressed, and if I understand properly, I'm in a room, your antenna can send out a message to me, for instance, uh, go to Investor Intel. Is that correct? Absolutely. It would uh, continually message whatever uh, type of couponing or messaging you put in there, and it uh, takes all rich media, so we can send out uh, video, we can send out SMS, text, or, or just thumbprint ads. And these are sent directly to somebody's mobile device without impugning their privacy. That was my next question. Can you explain to us how you do not impugn our privacy by being able to do this? Absolutely. Because we don't uh, require a download or, or an app, therefore you're not surrendering anything personal. We simply identify the MAC address of your Bluetooth device or send you the message via Wi-Fi, which is open to everyone. And neither of those um, efforts uh, require any of your personal information. Well, of course, iSign Media is moving very quickly. You've managed to put out a number of news releases just in this last month. Can you tell us what we should anticipate as shareholders in the next quarter or two quarters? 
I'm hoping the share price will increase, of course, but uh, I think you'll find that uh, the whole smart city network will continue to expand. This is something that's been going on in Europe for a few years, been going on in Asia for a few years. I've seen it three years ago. And now uh, uh, President Obama did offer the cities and, uh, and the states the opportunity to network. And uh, our solution happens to be perfect for that kind of an application. Alex, thank you so much for joining us again today. Thank you. It was my pleasure, too.